All right. Hey guys, what's up? This is Wolf, your one and only. Um, just woke up a little bit uh, later than usual. Probably got like 30 minutes or into this dungeon's over. <laughs> uh, take off a new this. But uh, yeah, playing some more Grand Fantasia memories. So today, in this video, the goal is just to get to, oh god, they have slow. Wait, why does this one feel stronger? That felt a lot so oh, because I took this off. Uh, I took that off, that's why. Not uh, that my my wand didn't go off either. No, that they have pain. Pain is a plague, right? Was that curse? I will say this, if you do plan on, hold on, when you're ready for your next staff, uh, build the orange one. Build the, um, hold on. That was curse. Am I still getting hit? What the fuck? I'm still getting hit while they're stunned? I'm not the only one who saw that, right? But, um... Okay, I can't show it right now. It is the eye one. Okay, really, dude? So I don't think... So it's not curse? And it's not plague. I gotta look that up. Because it was neither of those. Huh? Oh, the sprite. Sprite just activated that. Damn, your AoE goes a lot farther than mine's. Just insta reset them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the orange version of this. Once you're ready to chain stats, build this one instead. Because this one gives you 20 seconds. Instead of the 10 seconds that this one gives. Once you have this one. And ready to change on to your next staff. I say then you can start swapping. You'll have 10 extra seconds to get in your whatever new staff you're using. Hello. Like, come here. Okay, now, so we're not going to use the sprite attack this time.
You're especially going to need the other staff because if you plan on going, um, there's that staff that gives 200, uh, gotta make sure I don't die here, but there's that staff that gives 200 intelligence. That's really good. So comboing it with this staff is actually not that bad. I want to say, aren't you designed to go after that first? Or do I have to push this down for you to do that? Not sure. Wait, what? Why it's... Oh, okay, it just took it a while. I was sitting here like, what the hell? Okay, cool. Okay, so we should be good. Okay, I forgot. You got... No, you guys have some insane range. I'm not looking forward to this boss. Come on, whack them one more time. Just one more. Hi, how you doing? If you could not, that'd be great. Oh my god, they got off pain. Oh, it's poisoned. Pain is poisoned. Ah. When I think of pain, I don't think of that, funny enough. Out of mana. So all these enemies are going to be poisoned. I mean, I guess it makes sense because they're slimes. Ah, oh, 
I gotta wait for my mana. You're gonna you're gonna aggro on me, aren't you? Yep, from all the way over there. You know what? Not I love Nubis handle you. Like we should just start doing these one at a time. Okay, you can't go forward. for me. I guess I should start doing a slow to initiate so she can actually get there. That way they don't just run directly to me. Just get some of my uh mana back. I say my commentary is kind of lacking right now. I'm trying to wake up a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> Playing this for 30 minutes, uh, you probably wake me up for the rest of the day. Then when I get home, I'll just finish the rest. Gotta put these back on. Trying to attack any the thing she attacks. Huh? Wait a minute, why are you guys fighting me?
I was like, that confused me as fuck because I was I was attacking him. Then they just went all the way around her. She was the closest. I don't think I hit them. Maybe I did. What? Oh, my sprite, that's what. I was here, I was like, wait a minute, why are they aggroing against me? Now as for the boss. Ah, oh, damn it. Did I just get stunned by what? Yeah, and if she anything she attacks, I I need to start attacking because that means she healed aggro off that. Oh, the invisibility does help, actually. Oh my god, I just realized it. In wolf form, I can have her do all the work. How long does this last? Five minutes? I mean, it will take a lot longer. That's the only issue. It will definitely take a lot longer. Like, I wanted to see if I could heal in it. No, I cannot. Anywho. Oh, it's you. Stop. Go away. Can I use that skill? Oh, I think I was clicked on Anubis.
All right, there she go. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't level that up. That's what it is. Uh, oh, God, my mouse is on another screen. My mouse was on another screen. <laughs> the hell? Did you just interrupt me, you dick? Before she stops him. All right, one more, one more level, and we are Mystic. Have a Snickers. Ah, you dick. Of course you would have the same idea as me. Should take out my other uh, hammer, shouldn't I? Start getting that ready when I get the chance. Are oh, you bitch? Yeah, hit me so hard, knocked me outside of the map. That's crazy. Oh, wait, is that a path attack? Or is that... Oh, no, it was you. I think. I don't know what the hell just happened there, actually. <laughs> but if it was you, revenge. Ah, uh, can't see. Oh, that's what I should change there. My title. Poison does does a lot of damage to me.
This is still the reason why I wish Druid had like an actual summon though. Just because it makes this a lot more useful. You hit somebody, hit this. Uh, let's see. How should I do this? I was about to say, why are you attacking me? Oh, whoops. I hit the wrong skill. Something's making me curious of late game now. Something's making me very, very curious. Because it just gave me some ideas. Some interesting ideas. Oh, did I wash it off there? Squeaky clean. Get away from me. Oh, I keep doing that. I don't know why. Okay, he didn't move up. Okay, there we go. I'm slowly inching her towards the other enemies. Well, not if I keep fat fingering the same thing. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're almost at the first boss. Look at how large this place is. Can you aggro that guy? Oh yeah, I was about to say. Because I kind of want to slowly push you over there. And I kind of want to slowly angle you towards the boss. Now, who are you attacking me next? Oh god, I can't see. Damn it. Didn't work. Right, who else is next? Damn it! Cam? Go to him. Now get aggro. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> does she saw that on? Yes, she does. So she does... So it does 200 to itself if it hits her and get the redirect.
I forgot about the radius of it. I have to like be very, very close. Okay, that's one of our quests done. So now we need to head to the... Well, I wouldn't say the final boss, but near the final boss. Then after we're done with this dungeon, we can get hit to Sunken. How much gold did that thing drop? Uh, it gave us eight gold. Oh no, three gold for killing it. Uh, it should be the surfing ladies, right? Yeah. I don't remember these having anything that could like detriment me. Except for a long ass fucking range. <laughs> I mean the the range is great though for uh tankier characters though. That's the best thing about this is that if you're just trying to do like a fast run through this range helps them like dramatically. Oh, you have freeze. That's what it was. And why the hell did you get stunned? Oh, because wrong button. <laughs> Forgot I changed it. Come on, join the party. No, you wanna. Stop that. Go ahead, try it again. Stop it. <laughs> Ah, oh, you bitch. I keep forgetting, like... If you use Sandstorm, it always pushes them the perfect amount out of uh, Nature's Wrath. Sorry, I gotta remember everything about about all my abilities, man. I say since the official version kind of butchered a lot of things I loved about the human form. <laughs> There's only a few things I like about the human form, like the passive to build up like a whole bunch of regen for the whole party. 
Like, yeah, that's a pretty cool idea for like the healing part of the human form. The bird form is actually a lot of fun. The wolf form is kind of interesting because you can build up bleed. I feel like they were going for like feral druid for like, wow. What else? There was grill form was being more tanky. I said that was actually pretty good. Yeah, the most most thing they butchered was human form there and buffs. We're so close. Just just four more bars. Then I guess uh, as I finish this dungeon, I'll turn on a hundred percent mastery. Because that dungeon walk is actually really long. So if an enemy is stunned, the aggro gets locked onto you. That's interesting. I guess that's mostly why they don't work. Oops, wrong button. I guess that's mostly why like debuffs don't work on bosses. Certain debuffs don't work on bosses. No, I think late game debuffs altogether stop working on bosses. But it explains why. Because it can mess with aggroing. Doesn't that doesn't explain the fact why Berserker still had like a boss stun. It was a, like a mini boss stun. Which made them one of the the more essential bosses boss killers because if an enemy was charging something, you would literally rush at it and stun it. Just like, I know you're casting, but can you stop? <laughs> now, that's literally what that button was. Are you dick? Of course you bastards would have days. Damn, only five potions out of this whole run? My mana, stop, please. All right, almost there. So what do we have? Intelligence increase. Okay, typical HP. Casting speed. So basically the same thing that uh, Drew has always had. Except for this. This is interesting. Oh, they removed the plant increase. That's, that's what I was... 
thinking of the plant increase no longer exists. I'm curious about this. I don't know. Each level activates healing. Like, it just makes me curious. Like, what is this, like, actually talking about? I mean, we're halfway there. I know I should be stopping right now, but, you know, we're almost there. We might as well finish it out. I still find I still find that funny. You can't chain stun. Wait, can't you I didn't even click a different target. Excuse me? Pretty sure I was on her the whole time. I guess you're gonna have uh, silence. Oh, does that hit everybody? Jesus. Alright, there we go. Are you dick? That was uncalled for. Oh, you slept me. I didn't even know you guys had sleep. Because in actual version, you guys didn't survive long enough to do it. <laughs> okay, we have everything from that. So now that's done. Now we got to go do Trickster. Which I think it's a smooth walk all the way down there, right? Ooh. Damn. Here's the issue. If I try to turn in these quests... I get hoed maximally for XP. So I am not going to turn in those quests. And just do this. Okay, no. Don't turn in those quests. That, that will hoe the hell out of you in XP. Ooh, that's a lot of damage.
Ow. Rude. Ah, oh, he put freeze on her. Okay, so if you can mess with HP, that means Gorilla. T <laughs> gorilla guy actually works on her. Ah, magic attack. Uh, okay, we'll form. Oh god, I changed aggro. Resummon. Apparently, Wolf Form did a lot more damage than I actually thought it would. Like, Wolf Form did a lot more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> to where it just completely out, out, out aggroed her. Is it. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. <laughs> Good to know Wolf Form is. Still wolf forming. Anyhow, uh, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you switching aggro? Yeah, I forgot how strong wolf form is when it comes to like DPS. Even though that was the main thing I always used. Oh, yeah, I had to go here. To get my class change. Hey, legacy gear. There we go. Well, we're done with that. Now we are mystic. So now we head all the way back. Turn in this quest. Form heal for He gave uh, eight form three. Where to go? I have a lot of junk in here. I got to remove. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, there it is. Eight form three. Get a little bit of physical damage and a little bit of uh, HP. So 
We got a little bit more HP. That's kind of funny. They took away the mana for um for that one. So all the all the perks say the exact same, except for it's just living armor that grows with you. Now I gotta go buy my uh, upgraded skills. Other oh, things I need, actually. Uh, out of this. Doesn't really matter too much, does it? I would say holy. None of these matter either. Except for that. Oh, wow. Okay, that was going to give me another quest for this. Damn. I still technically got hoed. <laughs> I got to redo this. I keep forgetting to put on night. Because the different movement speed is the thing I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, technically, we could just fly through the dungeon, but... Oh, no, yeah, we could fly through the dungeon. the next video well the next part of the video <laughs> as of right now i have to get ready for work so i hope you guys enjoyed part one of this i guess i'll just go to casla real quick see what we have available There it is. That's a hundred? Jesus Christ, brother. Then you have this, which is decent, but fuck, dude. Truid costs so much damn gold. So much damn gold, dude. And then it hits me with a hundred for it. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Forgot how mana hungry you are. Fuck. I forgot that was fucking 300. Jesus. That is absurd, man. And I forgot this skill was actually pretty good, too. And I can't get that yet, either. Dude, I am getting maximally hold here. That's going to be good, though. Well, 
Welcome to the life of a druid. Haha. <laughs> Just so you guys know. This is what I mean about Druid being cost heavy. You have a lot of skills you have to go through just because your transformations. Your transformations are the main things that are going to help you through like all your abilities. It's, it's, not, it's not a fun ride. That's all I can tell you. It is definitely not a fun ride when it comes to playing Druid. Because those skills are extremely costly. I can't remember how much like it usually is all together. But I can tell you it's it's significantly a lot more than all the other classes. So if you're gonna play this, prepare prepare some gold from a secondary character or from your main character. Or get ready to sell a lot of things or at least get to a late game then start doing all that you know i just run a lot of um mutated which is something i'm gonna have to do after this video like nothing but mutated runs Now that I have my wolf form and it's, uh, weapons ready. I need a lot of those. What if they actually plan on adding anything else inside of the bonus? Like unique titles or something? I don't know. Just curious. Do not have more clay. Pretty nice. This pretty nice. <sighs> I gotta level up all my gear. When I get back. <laughs> Just gotta remember to go back and do that. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys after work. All right, hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, so we're just gonna max this out first and get like how many points? Damn, I need two points. Never mind. I say I was gonna say we're gonna get like a point in, but <laughs> we said we're gonna do that. Uh, where is? So I get to show you guys um uh, how strong wolf form is. I right, say so you guys saw that we uh struggled a little bit clearing his dungeon the first time oh which one is that that's the hundred percent i got new more and it shouldn't be harder well very hard to clear this time especially since we have our life still we have both of our hammers fully built to nine a lot easier to kill. Wolf form is actually like I wouldn't say very strong, but it is very good to have. I just need to max this out, to be honest. I might get the that done. The next time they do open uh open tickets, I'll probably use my talents on that. But at the moment I can't because um <laughs> Because they only open it when I'm at work. So the two hammers we're using right now are the level 50 and the level... 
and level 60. Both of them are plus 9. The only issue that we had was that we weren't very defensive. We didn't really have a lot of defense buffs. Oh yeah, we gotta change him to attack too. Get that going. The only issue with wolf form is that you lose mana really fast since um since job madness actually costs quite a lot of mana. It still costs the same as your stun heal and stun combo. Kudukra doesn't cost that much. Only just because I haven't upgraded it. I don't want to upgrade Kudukra yet, just because that'll be even more mana. And Kudukra gets... Is that Kudukra? Kudugrace. Excuse me, I had to take a sip of water. But um This starts to gain mad mana costs. Like the mana cost it starts to to rack up is actually pretty damn high. So I never upgrade that. Now you're not gonna get a whole bunch of mana back. Well HP back. It's mostly there just to keep a little bit of sustain in. You'll take a little bit of like at least one or two extra hits. I also changed my title to Forgotten King. Now and then you want to take that little intermission to heal. So how did tell me that they changed the uh, Level 75 up, and I'm going to sit here and gain some mana back. Let's see, level 75, hammer. That's level 70. I slightly remember the level 75 hammer. No, oh, that wasn't triple. What, what was that, actually? Because I actually slightly remember this hammer. I knew it was going to take care of that. Illusion Hammer. That definitely was not what it did. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so I, I wasn't losing my mind. So Illusion Hammer was originally just 8% for triple damage. But they changed it to 15%. And not only that, 15% chance of getting Hammer Crit. Fantastic, actually. Very fantastic. If you guys want to know what, what you want to go towards, like, Wolf Form, if you want to go, like, two-handed or... One handed, go two hand. Well, go one handed and dual wield. It's a lot better, gives you more buffs and stuff to deal with. I made the mistake in going like two handed weapons when dual handing was a lot better for wolf form. Especially when you had like stuff like this, decreasing the target's uh, defense by 20%. It also increases your defense by. Well, your magic defense by 10%, but it was still pretty good because there was a hammer that you would never get rid of. You would never drop this hammer. I'd say this, this was one of the best hammers that we always carried until we finished level, level 100 hammers. But I'd say we always kept this hammer. This hammer is 
going to be your best friend for everything. Do you want to know why? Because it's each attack. It's not each like standard attack or anything like that. It's literally each attack gives you 20% healing. That was one of our best hammers as druids. So as soon as you guys are like level 85, build a hammer. Now we gotta go kill this guy again. He's probably gonna be targeting me again if I do too much DPS. The reason uh, I believe Anubis falls off later because you're going to be doing way more damage than her and taking aggro. I say she, the only reason she's taking aggro is because I'm pretty sure she just hits harder. Pretty sure that's the only reason. I do kind of like the idea of the hammer restoring both HP and mana. But um, you got to get that 1%. You definitely got to get that 1%. Plus, you also got to remember, it, it's as low as um, as this. <laughs> it's as low as uh, the Forbidden King, which is the Rogue Knight title. I wonder if there will ever be like a content creator title. I wonder what that would have, honestly. Hold on. I'm back arguing with the family. <laughs> Not really arguing, just messing with them. Uh, let's see. So I have this. Well, no, the next staff now. So I can use this if I need to. Because this is another combo I like to do. Like I was saying, yeah, it's between these. Um, right now, what I would do. Uh, hold on. Are there any other staffs that I want to build? And per action. Per action, it's a half bad. Oh, there is. I forgot to talk about this. There is something inside of the rework for the official server that is actually extremely good. Damn, I can't remember the name of it, and I don't think that there's anywhere online that shows it. But it's like something conversion as to where I believe 10 or something percent. It actually can be increased as you uh, take on levels. But it's pretty much to where a certain percentage of your attack will go to your mana attacks well your magic attack and a certain percentage of magic attack will go to your physical attack i remember showing it off inside of the rework 
Well, winning out of York. Okay, that directional audio just threw me off like quite a bit. But that rework was fucking amazing for Druids. I just want that to be known. Um, why the fuck can't I? Okay. All right, game. What the fuck was that? For some reason, I couldn't use my uh, Earth Grip. Oh, I got to be careful fighting this dude. He has a... Uh, he has Reflect. And I don't have much damage reduction to deal with that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Venubus deal with that. Oh, did you just stun me? What the fuck? God damn it. Always. Always with the fucking reflex, huh? Always with the fucking reflex. Stop stunning me, you dick. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's damn reflect. My my least hated effect in this game is reflect. I just want that to be known. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> All right, game. Yeah. The only reason I really hate reflect is because it's it's in ninety percent of the end game. That's the worst part about dealing with flag damage. It's in 90% of in-game for uh, Grand Fantasia. For the official version. I don't know about this one. Like, it is it is megally overused. They're, they're always like, oh, how do we make content harder? Reflect damage. It's just like... Why? <laughs> That's the real question. Why? Why would we put reflection damage everywhere? I was like, why would we not just think, oh, mechanics? No, we chose reflection damage. Crazy part is, if I was to go this, that wouldn't be a combo. If I go this, that gives me 20% magic defense. And that will give me this. So anything towards like hammer and um, <laughs> hammer and uh, woodland was actually freaking hilarious because they did not give anything like viable. Like I said, terrible combos. They had very terrible combos when it came to druid. I say Wolf Form suffered the most from like combos. I say everything else was fine. Even though all of our gears were aimed towards Wolf Form and. Yeah, all of our gears were aimed towards Wolf Form and um, Gorilla Form. None of us was aimed towards, <laughs> towards anything else. Because look at this everything's strength. Even our legacy gear is aimed towards wolf form and gorilla form. If you wear this gear, <laughs> good luck trying to do any damage as a mage, because look at this. 3,000. 4,000. You do more damage as wolf form and gorilla. <laughs> you just have better utility as bird form and human form. The rework kind of fi fixed that 
a little bit though. Just because they they gave that uh combined stat passive to where they converted into each other. Rework of the official is what I should say. Just that doesn't get confused of rework here. We don't have that luxury here. Like I said, Druid has a lot of had a lot of downfalls. They fixed most of them inside of the rework, but also created a lot of them. For the official version. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Dick. That's also another thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, triple, triple uh, attack also increases um. Chances of certain weapons going off as well. The only sucky part is that this weapon can only be activated if you're hit. Now, if it was the other way around, this would actually be like superly strong. But in a group of enemies, if you run through, this has a pretty heavy chance of activating. But you have to be tanky enough to even like want to do that they also removed uh they just removed <sighs> be right back again I'm back. I say soon I am going to skip through the rest of this. But they removed the um, skill behind Anubis. I kind of wish they would have made an option inside of like the settings or something. Like hide cave or something. They... Yeah, if they would have added a, another option in here to where you can like click that and hide accessories for like other stuff or have it affect uh, details or effect, that would have been actually pretty interesting too for people who actually like the skill. It wasn't bothering for me because my my frames weren't affected by it just because, like I said, my PC is high end, so I don't have to worry about such a thing. But I can see how it could be troublesome for the low-end players. It be like that. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here. And I will see you guys in a few... few minutes. We are back. Okay, so we are back. Now, taking this should actually... Well, taking the shots should actually work out a lot more than the first time. Don't like how take aggro. Okay, yeah. I say like, last time we were getting hit for like 3,000, right? It hits a little bit of 3,000, but that was a crit. Damn it. God, I hate that. 
Yeah, I don't get as much life still as I remember. Uh, I was looking for the potion and I got confused among my inventory. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was looking for the um, this potion and I forgot it again. There it is. Jesus. Don't ask me how I keep forgetting about this. <laughs> Okay, put this on. And I'll quickly take aggro. Wait, did you just... Uh, you ran out of stamina, didn't you? You did. Oh, that's actually annoying. Because I need your fucking defense reduction. Ran out of it at the wrong time. Okay, I was about to say, I cannot see. Yeah. I say, I need movement speed for sure. That's the amazing thing about being Drew is that you can get out of that pretty easily. Can't avoid that apparently. <laughs> Not enough moving speed in the world to avoid that. Gorilla form. Just to get the evasion. There we go. The goblin's pretty useful. Oh crap, that's what I was forgetting. I was like, there's a skill missing that I got. I can't remember what it was. This. Apparently this is... Yeah, this has been changed from its mana self. Apparently, the normal Grand Potato didn't like this either. <laughs> the whole... 100% mana region. They didn't like that either. Uh, the cooldown is still long as shit. Unfortunately. Okay, there we go. We're now level 67. I was saying, Nubis, can you move out the way? Sword. Sell that crap. Now, Mechanical Fortress. The actual suffering, suffering before... Ah, Phoenix Tower begins. <laughs> Not looking forward to this. Because I hate Mechanical Fortress. I hate Phoenix Tower more, but Mechanical Fortress is still also suffering. Just because Mechanical Fortress is like... I guess the first really, really long dungeon you go through. If I remember correctly. I was say, what's on here now? I think Beast Tower is something they made. At least I believe so. What's this? I 
Oh, now I remember this armor. That's sprite stuff. Sprite decorations. Mm. There's really not anything anything in there that I want. I guess other than the robot VIP. I guess that would be the only thing. I mean, the sword and shield is pretty cool. There's a shield. There's the hair. I said that's all I was trying to get. I need the sword. Well, the clock is also one thing I was after too, because I'm tired of looking at that cape. That's actually funny. That's the thing they could do since they removed Anubis's like little little scale thing. You can technically add that as like a miniature scale um, cape if you want to. That would actually work out. Ah, you both failed me. I want to try and get that now. And I'm a huge fan of the of the horse. I wouldn't mind it though, but I would much rather have this or the order, just so we can have that, just to see what it does later on. Oh, there's a sword. Something tells me I'm not going to get it, but we're going to see. Seems like five. Why does five feel like um, S S um, alchemy? Ah, cut up. Oh, there it is. Got it. What'd you get? And you should fail here? Okay. Not, let's not go to five. <laughs> like, each day I'll try and, uh, do the table. But if the table's a little bit, uh, not a lot of what I want, I mostly won't, like, try and finish it out. Uh, where is... Wait, where's the order? Ah, I hate, <laughs> I hate using auto bag because it doesn't really order it right. Another thing that would be useful is like highlighting or having the box highlighted in different colors to show rarity. 
Yeah, that are certain category items. That also works there. Oh god, I used the wrong ability. Whoa. They... They deal a lot of damage. They do more damage than... Oh, okay. So this is the difficulty spike right here. They deal a lot more damage than they did in the original. Well, the official server. That caught me off guard. I didn't realize they were going to do that much damage. Because normally they wouldn't. Damn, I feel weak as hell. Guess around here is where I would stop doing dungeons as solo. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like, like, my life still is doing anything. Yeah, they give a lot of XP, though. Oh, here it is. So I'm curious about this. Oh, I think it is regening. Here's the fun part, though. God, that's high. Hmm. I would need to kill at least 700 and no 17 no 170 at least enemies in order to get one point So around this point, you would stop soloing dungeons. Because this will become next level impossible solo at this this early. I did have the wrong uh, weapon on. Let's see. There's a stun. I get stunned pretty often now. Hmm. So the security things are less of a menace, and these guys are more of a menace now. Whoops. Idea. Oh, 
Hop. God damn it, not if I keep pushing the fucking three. I keep pushing the damn three every time. I don't know what the hell's wrong with my brain to where it just thinks, oh, your skill is still on your three. No, the fuck is not. Anubis in there, see what she can do. I probably can do this. There's a little bit of tricks to this. The stunning hammer is going to help a lot. I wish this this change this wasn't like <laughs> 600 the mana regen is nice though like that's actually nice That does help with uh, the healing and everything. Man. So this dungeon's got like jump spiked all the way up there. Makes me very curious. Oh, I forgot you guys even had a lottery. Ah, uh, the lottery's actually pretty, pretty decently high. For this game, actually. I would say, for this private server, this it actually counts as pretty high. You always got to remember that I'm doing this with one talent. <laughs> None of these are six threes or anything. They're all ones. That's another thing that needs to be kept in mind.
stop that. Damn, I I immediately used it. I immediately used it and couldn't even get it off. There we go. Huh? This gives me a lot of thought on things I can do. It's either I stay staff or I go full on wolf form. Right now, it doesn't look like my life still is as much as it would be in the official. But then again, that's isn't that still just because of low level. This whole side is a reincarnation, by the way. For anybody who's new to Grand Fantasia. Wait a minute. So. What about these? Are these no longer um, level 100? Or have these been. Ha! Huh. I have a lot of interesting things to see. Wouldn't Eye of Truth be a lot more dangerous to have a 50? Okay. <laughs> yes, I'm still complaining about percentages and cooldown times. All right. Shut up. <laughs> I will if I want to. Okay. So what we're going to do... But this does more damage. Um, let's go ahead and make the out. Oh, shit. Gathering time. Yeah, I think about the crit. Crit is what that matters out of that.
Wait, did I not just... Oh, that's the 30 second one. Damn it. Whoops. We call you. Yeah, I have the 30 second one. Current what? Okay, is it because I was uh casting? Now I gotta wait for the fucker to get back. Yeah, that takes a lot longer. It's better just to get Anubis in there and to let her take aggro. And not just use a wolf form to get in. I was trying to make sure I wasn't forgetting anything about uh, a about druid. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this combo. I used that one for a while. Just because it gave both defense. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so about six or seven seconds in game to where it regens. So at least you can regen inside of combat. Oh shit, wrong tab. I think you can. And those those crits are mean. <sighs> if only I could have this, that would be great. Oh, I I can't. Duh, I was using it earlier. If only there was a better combo, is what I was thinking of. I'll say, I gotta definitely shift my gameplay from uh, the official server. Sun is my best friend. Now, as soon as I get... To, oh, wow. That didn't even equip, too. But um, as soon as I get to 75, I want to replace this hammer. And keep this hammer for the stun chance. Hmm. Unless level 70 hammer is actually good. I don't remember it being good, actually. I think level 70 one-handed hammer was towards more of a cleric, if I remember correctly. So, but 80. Now, that's 65. 65s is, isn't too bad, but it's also attacked when you're, when you're attacked. Terrible. For this type of game. <laughs> I mean it's 30% actually. So it's not 
too bad, but still terrible because instead of soloing, you get hit once. It can mean half your HP, so you're putting your faith into that, into that thirty percent. High faith into that thirty percent. And this is also attacked. This is terrible. Hmm. Yeah, this is like very terrible. The only good thing about it is the actual stats you get from it. But other than that, it's god awful. But I would say once you're 75, you would want this and you'll probably keep this. This is not something you want. Really, unless you're playing. Unless you're playing. Uh, well, no, I can't even say if you're playing bird form. This is mostly aimed towards clerics, if anything. I was going to say if you were playing bird form, but I'm thinking about um, rework Druid of um, Official Server. So you want 75 and... More than likely 85 hammer. Yeah, 75 and 85 are the only good combo hammers I can actually think of for Druid. Where we'll, well... Druid, uh, wolf form. Well, Druid and, uh, gorilla form, actually. Did I say Druid and gorilla? Wolf form and gorilla form are probably going to rely on this a lot more. Uh, two-handed hammer. Uh, never has been all that reliable, to be honest. Two handed hammers never really been extremely reliable for uh, druids. The only reason I say that is because druid has so much DPS inside of the wolf form to where it can like trigger a lot of things really fast, and this cooldown is very light. To where you can keep spamming between spells. So Dill Wooding was always better. Plus this was this was terrible for us. Well, that's more of a PvP thing, actually. Yeah, this is more of a PvP hammer for what I've like seen people do like full reflect builds. I can only see this being built <laughs> every time. But um, we're going to actually cut it off there. And because I, I wasn't planning on trying to like go fully through this dungeon. Because I need to get the rest of my talents up. That's my job right now is to get those talents up. So I guess maybe the next few videos will just focus on uh, fame if talents are a very big factor right now. But let's see. There's probably some talents inside of a uh, auction house. Let's see. Um, auctioner. There we go. Wait. Oh, you guys do have... Wait a minute. I could have sworn this was a reincarnation table. Maybe I'm drunk. 
As I, it's been a while since I've unlocked reincarnation. Reincarnation and done any of that. Maybe I am drunk. So this side does still exist. It's just after level. Oh, I guess it's shaman. Oh, tomes are sellable? Gorilla Guard is a tome now? No wonder I haven't seen it. I was sitting here like, wait a minute. Where's my Gorilla Guard? Gorilla Guard is a tome now. Well, shit. Um, hmm. How would I get my hands on that? <laughs> What's that? I don't remember that. Not every color some of the mounts. Okay. Some of those color schemes don't fit right with me. But anyway. Well, I know where to to start f do you, well actually no I don't Gorilla Guard is a lot different I don't know where to get Gorilla Guard just by farming it huh that's gonna be fun to figure out but anywho I'm gonna end it off there hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll have my stuff farmed up because I am going to go farm a uh, farm up my skills now so back to mutated dungeon it is mutated parody cave do like that sword anyway did then peace out Time is the reason why we fight to stay